Hi guys, it's Katie. Um, thanks for checking out my video. I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, well, a little more detailed update since I updated in Tampere and it was very windy and I'm so sorry about the sound quality. Should have filmed somewhere else. Um, but now I'm in Turku, Finland and I'm, on a I'm in a hostel on a boat. There's my little tiny hostel room and it's really cute. So, um, I've been traveling around and getting some reading done. Now I'm kind of, at first I was traveling with a friend and now I'm traveling all by myself. So I'll probably be reading in cafes a lot. Um, cause other than walking around the city and checking out museums, that's my otherwise my favorite thing to do. So I'm basically going to talk about mostly, um, Soviet Milk by Nora Ekstena. I couldn't remember her full name in the other video. And then what I'm reading right now, well, two things I'm reading right now. And the reason I wanted to talk about Soviet Milk was because it is, so it's a book translated from Latvian. Um, and the author apparently is already quite well known in Latvia, has written 20 books or so. And she, this is her first, I believe, translated work. Oh, I don't have the name of the translator. I apologize. I had to return the book to the library, but I'll try to put it down below. Um, wow. I think I would have really enjoyed this book anyway. I gave it, I think, four stars. It's pretty hard for me to give something five stars, so I was pretty happy with it. Um, so it's about, it's set in Latvia between the time of kind of the Soviet, beginning of entering the Soviet Union and the end, and the, um, the fall of the Soviet Union. So after World War II to 89, I think, 90. Um, and it follows a mother and a daughter who you don't really, you don't hear their names or anything, and a little bit the grandparents. And so the, the grandparents were born before the beginning of the Soviet Union, and then their daughter was born just, I think at the beginning or sometime during um, the Soviet Union, and then their, her daughter, um, the granddaughter was born um, also in the Soviet Union, but she, uh, I guess, spoiler alert, maybe, never mind. So let's just say that in the book, the, the mother character is, has only known sort of the Latvia under Soviet rule. And so communism and her parents lived there before that and so they know Latvia beforehand um, and then this mother was born in Latvia when it was under Soviet rule and so it's just she's the writing is really good um, and then the characters I don't know they're just they're fairly easy to relate to even though their lives are really different than mine um, I can, it's just like I can only imagine what it would be like to have almost no choice it's a lot about the book is a lot about freedom and the ability to feel free and intellectual freedom and to choose what you want out of life and sort of that lack of that ability in this time especially for women and actually for both women and men um, and then what that actually means for someone's life and how that actually affects them and the the mother character seems to be the one that this has affected most deeply she doesn't seem to really have hope that this will change um and she's never known anything else so she it really affects her mental health and she feels like life isn't worth living um the daughter seems more hopeful but Anyway, I don't want to give any spoilers, so it's just, it's a really good book. Um, Soviet milk, like the, the concept of milk really pops up a lot throughout the story, usually referring to the fact that the mother didn't breastfeed her daughter because she didn't want to pass on the milk of someone who didn't want to live. So this sort of like free commodity that was freely available was not, she didn't want to pass, pass this on to her daughter because she was afraid of passing on this sort of lack of ability, like, lack of desire to live. Um, 
And then I think one of my favorite parts, so I read, the reason I wanted to update here is because I read this book in Latvia, or the, read half of it in Latvia while I was traveling in Riga with a friend. And the little details were cool. It was cool to see what actually, what Riga looked like. And so get an idea of the area that maybe these characters were about half the book is set in Riga, or maybe a little bit less. Um, and also, um, I just liked, so we did a tour, a walking tour of Riga, and the, it's autumn, and our tour guide was saying how everyone here, everyone in Riga, or in Latvia, I should say, goes mushrooming. That's like, they go out into the woods, and they pick mushrooms, and they bring them home and eat them, and that's like the thing to do. Everybody does it, their families do it and it's just part of the culture and so it was interesting because that's something that was mentioned in the book a lot mushrooming was kind of something that the mother and daughter did together and it was this sort of like cathartic like renewal or like time to rejuvenate so that was kind of cool to see that they still do that and it's still a really big part of the culture whereas we're kind of in North America I find taught like never pick a mushroom if you don't know if you're not a hundred percent sure what you're picking just don't pick it and so I've never picked I don't like mushrooms so that sounds horrible to me actually but anyway so mushrooms are a big part but one other thing I'll say is they do also have an intersex character and I I haven't totally figured out what I think about it but I did like that the intersex character is, is introduced as intersex um through working with the mother who is a doctor um a gynecologist or reproductive specialist in Latvia at this time and but then, and becomes a major character in the book, but it's never really brought up again. So I did appreciate that this was sort of, was an intersex character that was addressed, but afterward, that part didn't really come up again. It didn't seem to matter that this person was intersex. It was just a fact about this person. And then um, everything else was just about them as a person and it didn't come up again. So um, I thought that was hopefully a good representation. I'm speaking from someone who's not intersex as far as I know so I would love to hear if someone else had another thought on it um, but I think I just appreciated that it wasn't really a good or bad res representation it was just this is a person so and then the other thing I guess this video is getting a bit long so I'm almost done um, I'm reading The Tidal Zone by Sarah Moss I ordered it from the UK I forget which website but I couldn't get it in Canada so I ordered it and I'm about a third of the way through and I'm loving it. It's one of those books where not a lot happens but the writing is absolutely beautiful. I can see why it gets so much love on booktube. I think I'm looking in the wrong spot this whole time. Sorry. I've never filmed like this before on my phone. Um, yeah, so I'm loving it. The writing is some of the best. I've never some of the best writing I've ever experienced. Um, so even though I'm usually more into plot, I do like character development and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then the other book that I'm reading is I dove into, I wanted to have a book on my phone so I downloaded a book from the library back at home so I don't have to carry a physical book around with me around the city. Uh, usually I carry like a, pack, a backpack <laughs> but I decided not to do that this time um, and I'm happy about that. Uh, what's it called? Um, the book about the mother whose child has albinism I can't even think it's ever Jen Campbell loved this book um wow I can't even remember it so I'm just gonna leave it like that but it's so far fantastic and I didn't realize it was set in Canada so I'm loving that I recognize all the places it takes place in Newfoundland and Victoria and parts of northern Ontario which are all places I've oh, I haven't been to Newfoundland but just all feel very familiar so that's also fun okay so what I'd like to know is have you ever read a book in another place a place where it was set or a place just basically have you read a book that was really enhanced by where you read it I'd love to hear about that uh, reading a book at a certain in a certain place so I hope you guys are having an amazing I think it's Friday um, <laughs> and amazing and you have an amazing weekend and I'll chat with you later bye